The Storm playing all the hits from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and today. Commercial free music, The Storm. Ladies and gentlemen. What's up? This is Mr. LG, and you are listening to The Drive Home with Matt Burton. Now, here comes the music. What time is it? It's party time. Finally! Here we go! And welcome to The Drive Home with Matt Burton. I'm your host, Matt Burton, along sitting in with me, my good friend, Johnny D. of Hump Day Radio. Johnny, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Matt. Yeah, man. So, uh, you know, I called Johnny today, and I'm like, Johnny, you've got to come do this show with me. I, you know, Johnny, and what's so funny about me and Johnny, Johnny's from uh, Chicago. I'm yes. from the Deep South. We're so, you know, we're so funny together. We're brothers from another mother. <laughs> I um, like that. So, you know, so I call him and he doesn't really know what's going on today. He doesn't really know what's going on because I want this a total shock. I know Uh what's going on. So, Johnny, topic of the day. Topic of the day. Okay. The craziest things you have ever ate in your life. Huh. The craziest things I've ever eaten. Okay. Yeah. So, but I have already heard some of these things, some some of the guests um, that are calling in. I kind of have an idea, so we're going to bring in uh, Caitlin. Caitlin, you're live here on The Drive Time with Matt Burton. Hi. How are you? I am good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. So, topic of the day, what's the craziest thing you have ever ate in your life? The craziest thing I've ever ate in my life would probably have to be a tie between pork rinds, plain m ms and veggie straws. All at the same time, the same sitting, and drinking a jar of pickle juice while eating chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> wow. P- pickle. Everybody thinks it's weird, but, you know, the whole sweet and salty concept is actually really good. Uh, you know, so I'm just thinking, Johnny. Now, all right, little kids, do not do what Caitlin just said no. for Santa Claus. <laughs> Santa Claus, unless you really want to get some coal or make Santa Claus mad, don't leave Santa Claus a jar of pickle juice. But you know, well, my wife drinks pickle juice. Oh, ironically, yeah, just it's like, good for you. If no, you have an upset stomach, actually, if you ever have an upset stomach, you should drink some pickle juice. That would make me have yeah. an upset stomach. Yeah, that would make me. It's good if you got heartburn too. It, yeah. it gets rid of your heartburn. Yep. Uh, you would think that the deal would cause more heartburn. No, that's crazy. But it's it's really All right, really good. So you you said pork rinds. Now, John, mm-hmm. you know what pork rinds are. I do. I, I don't eat like them, pork? but no. Why not? I don't, I don't eat pork. I haven't eaten pork in over 20 years. But oh, grief. even I when I did that. eat it, I didn't like pork rinds. <laughs> All right, so we've got <laughs> pork rinds, M&M's, uh-huh. and veggie straws all together, just like a, a, pop them in your hand and pop them all in your mouth, right? Correct. So, <laughs> that's a heck of a combination. Um, Caitlin, are you pregnant? <laughs> No, I am not pregnant. So you're just <laughs> crazy. Me. You're just crazy then, right? <laughs> I'm sorry? So you're just crazy, not pregnant. You just Yeah, oh. I'm just crazy. Oh, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> well, well, folks, uh, like, like I said, um, you definitely do not want to leave Santa Claus pickle juice um, and cookies. I mean, could you Man, imagine no. dipping that in the pickle if juice? If Santa Claus stopped by my house... He, he, he would probably get a jar of pickle juice. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you and my wife would oh, along geez. well. Oh, gee. Anyway, i tell you right now, Santa Claus stops at my house. He's going to get a margarita. So, hey. <laughs> listen, you're listening to Drive Home with Matt Burton. One of the few times that we are aware of movement is when it suddenly stops. Multiple sclerosis stops people from moving. We are here to make sure that it doesn't happen to you. MS affects over 2.8 million Americans and many of people around the world feeling the impact every day. I personally have family that suffers from multiple sclerosis, so I know the pain firsthand. With help from people like you, the National MS Society addresses the challenges of every person and every family whose life has been affected by this horrible disease. 
the MS Society helps them stay connected to this great big moving world. Join me, Matt Burton, and support the National MS Society. To make a donation or to get more information, visit nationalmssociety.org today. Together, we will find a cure and crush MS forever. And we're back. You're listening to The Drive Home with Matt Burden right here on The Storm. I'm your host, Matt Burden. Sitting in with me is Johnny D, Hump Day Radio. Johnny, thank you for sitting in with us today. Thanks for having me, Matt. All right, so topic of the day, mm-hmm. crazy things people have ate. And I tell you, this this last one, pickle juice and... M&M's and, and cookies. cookies. I mean, ugh. dipping cookies in pickle juice. That's just, yeah. ugh. That's like a pregnant woman's dream, isn't it? Oh, it's something. So anyway, we have Jeff. Jeff, come on in. Yeah, I'm here. All right. Craziest thing you've ever ate? Uh, I've ate a little bit of everything. A little bit of alligator, a little bit of bear, a little bit of cooter stew. C- cooter stew? What's cooter stew? What's, I can't even say it. Cooter stew. <laughs> you don't even know what a cooter, cooter is. is. <laughs> no, I know what a cooter yeah. is. <laughs> they don't know what a cooter is. No, no, no. I, I, that I do. <laughs> okay. How do you make cooter stew? You just like... I make it just not like any other stew, but... Uh, uh, a turtle got about seven different kinds of meat in it to so get all kind of different flavors in that stew. Johnny, so, uh, Johnny, wow. make it. Johnny's gonna have to make him some cooter stew. Tonight. Yeah, that sounds interesting. <laughs> Miss, Miss Darling is having a uh, cooter stew tonight. Right. <laughs> she just don't know it yet. So, all right. So, bear. How does bear taste? Is it bear is a little different. It's uh, it's not the best I've ever had. Uh, I ate it in a stew one time. Uh, Johnny, uh, Johnny, uh, Johnny knows about how bad bears are. You know, oh, Chicago Bears. You know, such a dig. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hear they're not the best in the world. Not these days, anyway. That's all right. They're still the bears. The bears. So, all right. So we we've, we've got cooter stew, bear, and uh, like I said, Jeff. I'm sure you've ate rabbit. I've ate rabbit before. Yeah, I've had rabbit. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, we, you know, your, your granddaddy raised rabbits, and we raised rabbits. Yeah, you know about rabbits. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, you know squirrels. Oh, squirrels are pretty good. Mm-hmm. Now, now deer meat. Yeah, yeah. I like deer meat. It's very good. Yeah. Now, uh, now, like I so said, my ex-wife always complained about get ninety three seven, get ninety six three seven, and I gave her some deer meat. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I'm not eating that. I'm like, that is the leanest meat yeah, you could ever eat. It. Yep. it, like I said, Harley has no fat. It's all, you know. But deer meat, I, I love to hunt, and I love to, uh, you know, deer meat, deer sausage, deer. I mean, Johnny, we're gonna have to uh, most, con- yeah. country fry you people, up. Most people that eat, yeah, most people that eat deer meat don't know they're eating it if you don't tell them. That's exactly right, right. Johnny. Johnny's gonna eat some cooter stew tonight. Yeah, I try some cooter stew. Oh, good grief. <laughs> all right, Jeff, we appreciate it. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, man. I'll see you later. All right, man. So uh, Jeff J- Jeff, and our family, we all grew up together. And my uh, his father and my grandfather, that we lived across the road from each other. Oh, and I, okay. And I knew if anyone ate weird, crazy things, Jeff. So I called Jeff today. I said, Jeff, you've got to come on the show. And you've got to say some of the crazy stuff. And I knew Cooter he stew. ate Cooter stew before. And I, I had to have Johnny D. <laughs> I, and when you told me that, man, I thought of some old Creole restaurant. I'm thinking, like, Cooter <laughs> stew, what is that? That's, that's, I tell you, yeah, now go home to your wife tonight. And if I tell her that, she's going to look at me like, and what? Say, and say, baby, listen, we're not going out to, to a fancy <laughs> restaurant. We're not going to Olive Garden. We're not going to... Uh, Downtown, we're going to take it back home mm-hmm. and eat some. And you know what? Maybe Coo- I got to say it like this: Cooter stew, Cooter stew. You're gonna say, uh, but you've got, uh, but but you could Chicago fry it up. Okay, let's I mean, see. How, what can you add into it? Well, if it's Chicago style, you know, it might need a little relish or something to put in it because you know we we like our spices in Chicago. Got to get a little peppers in it. Now, frog legs. What about frog legs? Oh, I love frog legs. Yeah, and it tastes like chicken. When people always ask. Frog legs? Yeah, frog, yeah. frog legs taste like chicken. And you've got um, Christy uh, says on our Drive Home with Matt Burton Facebook page, mm-hmm. my husband eats squirrel brains. Oh, that's that's wild. Now, you know, the craziest thing I've ever seen someone eat, well, not live, but I saw it on a show called The Faces of Death, I believe it was. They ate monkey brains. 
Monkey brain. Yeah, they but they would take a live monkey. Monkey brains. They would take a live monkey, put it in the middle of a, a table. The uh, a circle was cut out in the middle of the table, it was a round table. They would put the monkey in the bottom of it, and the monkey would be alive. Just the top of his head sticking out. They would take these mallets, what, and hit You're, the monkey no. and kill the monkey and peel back his brain, and were eating the brains live, Legi- uh, fresh. What does? Well, I know people. I know my grandfather talked about eating cow brains. Could you imagine a little monkey? No, you know, because after he's like playing his little tambourine, and then. You know, I mean, you know, doing so. Anyway, you're listening to The Drive Home, Matt Burton. Be right back. Tired of running? Can't sleep at night? Are you in fear for your life? You don't deserve this, nor do you have to deal with it. Every nine seconds in the United States, a woman is assaulted or beaten. If you or someone you know is dealing with domestic violence, take action. Call the Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233. Other stations try to catch up to this mustard, but they don't got the sauce. Laugh till it hurts. You're listening to The Storm. And we're back. You're listening to The Drive Home with Matt Burden. I'm Matt Burden, and we have Johnny D. from Hump Day Radio. Johnny, welcome. Thank you, Matt. So we've had some crazy things tonight. You're very crazy. <laughs> Today we've oh, had... Oh, my goodness. We've had um, squirrel. Well, squirrel's not too crazy. That's, that's kind of a delicacy down here in the South, squirrel and rabbit. I See, that's interesting because you go up north where I'm from, you wouldn't catch anybody eating squirrel. Yeah, y'all have what? The rats, like grilled. No. Uh, uh, grilled grilled uh, now, sewer. Now, I would say in the country areas up north, you have people who eat that. Like my rats? No, not rats. No, no, <laughs> no, no nobody in. I, I hope nobody eats rats. You know, you know, over in Asia, New they York, eat. you know, yeah, they got plenty. Got they got like enough cat. of them. I tell you, I saw one that one time looked like a freaking cat. It was it was that it, big, like a like a, like a little small dog. Yeah, the rats in New York get they're get, crazy. They're, 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 it's like Shredder off the Ninja Turtles, you know. Yeah, they're big and they're they're bad. So so I mean, someone called in and said. Um, I mean, I'm still stuck on the dip and pickle juice in cookies. Cookies, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> and but I, I will say, bra- uh, no, monkey brains. Yes, monkey brains. Which <laughs> that's insane. Brains. I will say I, one thing that she did say that I even subscribe to is the salt and the sweet. They mix well together. Like I have to what's called we call it even it off. Even it off. If I mm, eat something yeah. sweet, I have to eat something kind of sour or some chips or something to get that sweetness to balance itself out yeah but pickle juice and no pickle juice and cookies that's so santa disgusting. claus would come to her house like what in the freak what is this yeah so uh, we're looking on our drive home with matt burden uh facebook page miniature octopus cooked in its own ink in its own ugh, ugh. what is this ink maybe it's it's juice to ugh. pus or something i don't know P- uh, pus well, nothing uh, like octopus in its own pus. Right. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, that's a tongue twister. Um, one Elizabeth says R- Ricky Mountain oysters. I'm sure she meant Rocky Mountain oysters. Okay. Now that that doesn't sound. No, that's not. I mean, right. I don't like oysters. I don't either. But I mean, octopus. Now I've ate octopus one time. It was at uh, Cabudos in Charlotte, mm. and it was octopus. But I don't uh, octopus cooked in its own ink. That's Squid just, I've done, but not octopus. Um, cow tongue, uh, Jessica says cow tongue. Yeah, I've, I've seen people eat that. I'm not an adventurous eater, though, man. I'm not. I, I like what I like. And I, mean, I mean, if I go to if I go to the Chinese restaurant or Japanese, I mean teriyaki chicken or, or sesame chicken, depend, <laughs> depend on which. Is it I mean, really chicken? It's right? probably not. It's probably ro- <laughs> That's Rocky a rat. oysters. <laughs> oh. yeah, yeah, there you go. It's rat. It's no longer a uh, horse, mate. You know, everybody right. says the horse. No. It's actually the sewer rat. Right. You know, you think about it. In a lot of different cultures, they eat other animals. Oh, for sure. They eat, they, they eat dogs and cats. And we in this country, in America, we think that that's just absolute tragedy. Meow. <laughs> but it's other countries that don't eat beef. The cow is sacred so i mean one is no i tell you what i figured it out mm-hmm. 
Get hungry enough, you'll eat all these doggone animals. Mm. Another one just said, oh, this uh, this is interesting. A It's on YouTube. Mm-hmm. A, a YouTube user, and it's T-I-T-O-4-R-E, he melts, and since we're talking about food, uh-huh. this is this is just crazy, and it just came up. Melted copper onto various layers of the burger, the metal appears to roll off and cause no damage until he takes it apart. So that shows the... Until that... Until he takes it apart? Yeah, yeah, like it doesn't he, it, does it he, doesn't move. I mean, it just like so, I mean, you know, uh, you know for example, you know we're talking about food. A couple years ago, I did a little social experiment. Mm-hmm. It was <laughs> taking a piece of like Pizza Hut, uh, well, Pizza Hut pizza mm-hmm. and putting it in the refrigerator, you know, in the garage and purposely mm-hmm. leaving it out in like, you know, okay. Just to see how long it would take to you know, disintegrate or to mold or, and it doesn't, it's mm-hmm. like, that's what we're eating in our body. I mean, really. Yeah. And you really can see it with like a burger from McDonald's. Yeah. That or, thing can sit in there for months and and not even mold. Yeah. Just like I saw somebody on YouTube today. They melted, molted. I think that's what you're talking about. Yeah, over the burger. It, the yeah. copper. The copper. And, and yeah. it doesn't damage it the burger yeah. until he breaks it apart. And it, that's, that's scary. Well, yeah. that's why I don't eat that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that just came across my news yeah. feed. Um, that I'm, I'm looking to go vegan soon. So you know, I, I can't go vegan. I don't. I don't think. Oh, well, what vegan is? What the no, no dairy, no what would sugars. You, you would eat a lot of vegetables and fruit, which is what we're supposed to be. Man is not meant to eat meat. We're herb, herbivores. I'd be darn. Not carnivores. This man was no. If if you really were, then you could go outside right now. See an animal, tackle it down, and just start tearing it apart and eating it. We can't do that. We weren't made to eat meat. Well, how did we survive all those years? That's part of the reason we didn't in the early days survive. <laughs> we had to come up with fire and cook now, it. Now, my grandfather ate red meat every day, and he lived to the ripe old age of 35. <laughs> no, that's a joke. That's a joke. Right. But, but, but no, like I said, you know, because you know, my grandfather, he had bacon every morning. Yeah. As long as my grandmother would cook it, and not just one piece, he would several, eat, yeah, several pieces, or he would have some type of sausage, and every night for dinner, he had a meat. Yeah. You, you've got your meat, potato. You know, you see, down here in the south, we're meat and potatoes type of yeah. people. But um, earlier today, and she may call in, and I hope she does. A lady was telling me about cooking collard greens. Oh, love it! I love collard greens, but listen to this. Putting a pigtail, boiling it, and then putting it in the collard greens. Well, we don't do pigtails, but I can see how somebody does it. We do we do um, we do oxtails. We do we, she she does oxtails or turkey necks, and in, in the collard. Yeah, it's if you really can just see my face right yeah. now, it's like ugh. Yeah. But you know now now the chitlins. Remember the chitlins? Mm. Let me tell you, I've, I've <laughs> that, that's exactly yeah. right. It's it's it's. The chitlins is what organs? Yeah, some organs of what though? I mean, the, just, of the pig. Ugh. They're like the intestines and, and they scraped stink. out the intestines. They, they smell st- horrible. But you know, uh, uh, this lady was telling me today. I was telling her about the show, and she said, "Yeah, I, I love chitlins." And I'm like, "Ugh." Like, yeah, my family used to eat them. I never ate them as a kid. I didn't like the look of them, the smell. Never. Ugh. Well, I know a lot down here, a lot in the South, a lot of Southern people used to eat chitlins and still do. From oh, what a I lot hear. of people do. And you, you see in the, <laughs> you see in the grocery store, you know, you know, like the big gallon of ice cream, the tubs of the, the yeah. tubs of chitlins. Yeah. And, and you know they don't look half bad, but like even now, Johnny, j- folks, Johnny loves liver. No liver, liver mush. No. Uh, well, what about liver mush? No, I mean nothing with liver in the title or the term liver. Liver mush at all. is not bad. I mean, no. I, it's not a fan of mine, but it's not Never. that bad. I will not hold liver down. Last time I ate liver was I was about ten. Told my stepmom I don't like liver. I'm not gonna eat. It. You're gonna eat it. You're gonna sit down here. And you're gonna eat it. Okay. Oh, I took a few bites of that. Well, well, guys, we'll be right back. People are dying every day from one of the few diseases in this world that cannot be cured. 
prevented, or even slowed down. Alzheimer's disease has affected over 5 million people in the United States and continues to be the sixth leading cause of death in America. The Alzheimer's Foundation needs volunteers like you to help fight for the cure to end Alzheimer's. If you would like more information on how you can help fight Alzheimer's, please log on to ALZ.org. Again, that's ALZ.org. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. I love you. Now, back to our show. And we're back. You're listening to The Drive Home with Matt Burton. I'm your host, Matt Burton, along with DJ Johnny D from Hump Day Radio. Uh, So, Johnny... Uh, we were just talking before the break. Johnny loves uh, liver. Um, no. A little bit of mustard on it, liver mm, mush. I'm thinking not. It's not, uh, never going to happen. You go to Black's Barbecue in Gaston, and you get a liver mush and egg sandwich. That's that's pretty good. Johnny. Then I never need to go to that place. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, no. But, I, I'm just, I mean, some people love it. My mother-in-law, she absolutely loves liver. She could eat it all the time. Yeah. See, see, you I, can't pay me to eat it. Well, I uh, like you got like, what about chicken livers? No. I don't want no kinds of livers. You don't want no. What about what about? Um, let's see what else crazy things. Um, now now I knew a girl from the Philippines, mm-hmm. and she fed me some of this stuff. And I'm telling you, some of it's very good. Other stuff is like I don't know what it is. It's just. It's, yeah. mm-hmm. um, but but like I said, they eat a lot of the fresh fruits and all. Okay. But the meats, you're like questioning. Like what it is? <laughs> what, what? What? Like what is this? And oh, you like? Don't worry, you like. I know, like, <laughs> and uh, and I mean, you know, really, the first time I ate it, it was like, what is it? And I'm yeah. like, do I really want to know what it is? But the chicken, the um, the chicken, and I don't even know what it what it was now. But the chicken dish she made was really good. And you would uh, but think anything with chicken. That's what you think, and I'm glad you said that. You think that anything with chicken, <laughs> it, it's fine. It, it should be good. So, true story. Me and my wife were in Chicago. We're up north near Wrigleyville area. Mm. We, they went to a uh, Cubs game that day, and we were out and about. So we decided let's have something different to eat tonight. So we said we uh, let's pick a restaurant in the nearby. Honey, let's eat some cooter stew. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So we said and we saw a restaurant. It was an Ethiopian restaurant. So we said, okay, let's try this. There's one in Charlotte here too. Really, I'll never go to the Ethiopian restaurant. So, but let me get to the story. Uh, so we go in. I'm looking at the menu, but I'm like, okay, what's well, chicken? So I can't go wrong with chicken. Just like you said, right. nobody messes up chicken. <laughs> I ordered this stuff. They bring it out. It's some kind of chicken with this brown. Thick gravy, almost. I don't even know what you look like a paste with it. It was awful. I did not eat. I'm like, I can't eat this. I'm like, I don't know what this is. We you know when you think of, and this is going to sound horrible. We're probably going to lose some listeners, but you think of Ethiopia. Mm-hmm. They're all skinny. You yeah. know, I mean, they're all very like very, you know, right. I mean, you know, poverty stricken there, mm-hmm. and you've got like. A restaurant dedicated to a full Ethiopian cuisine. Well, cuisine. Well, every every country and culture has their own particular cuisine. So I don't knock it because you you can't knock something until you've tried it. I think so. We say let's try it out. It can't hurt. I mean, it's chicken. It can't go wrong with chicken. Mm-hmm. But I think the way that they prepare it was just different than we're used to. But I'm sure the people that are from there, it's great. Well, you know, in Charlotte, they have one on Kings Drive. Because you know, because every time I would pass by it, I'm like, eh, no, no, I'm never no. trying that again. I'll, I'll, you know, you know, it's one of these like, like you, you know, hey, let's be brave, let's try out the new things in the city, yeah. and then when you get that, nah. It's, right. uh, so we, needless to say, we left that restaurant and we went and got some chicken wings from, <laughs> go, 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 and it was go, much better. Go right. get some good old country fried right. chicken. Yeah. Instead. But you know, a lot of times, like I said, because I'm Italian, so we fix a lot of different things, mm-hmm. but nothing unrealistic like. Now, hog jaws. You ever ate hog jaws? No. Never Come on, Johnny. You, you've got some Chicago hog I jaws know. before. Never have. Um, oh, oh! today I was also told about pig ears, and they're real slimy. Yeah. I can see that. Look at the, look at the ear. Look at look at the pig's ear. I can see that. You know, everyone's going to be think. you know, no no one's going to be hungry after they they no. hear this. Uh, they're like, you know, your weight loss brought to you today by the drive home <laughs> with <laughs> Matt Burns. Good grief! So, uh, Johnny, that's that's a, you know, Arizona, right, so Chicago. What what's Chicago known for? Pizza. The, the first thing that the people big, think big about slices. the the deep dish pizza. 
Oh, so deep dish, not yeah. just the big slices. Well, and actually, they just won an award for best pizza in the country, rated the best pizza in the country. So they have really good thin sliced pizza. But people from New York swear that New York has the best pizza, but their pizza is greasy. They call it a pie. We don't call it a pie in Chicago. It's pizza. It's just pizza. It's yeah. just pizza. I got you. New well, York, it's a pie. Hey, give me a pie. Yeah. No, Chicago's. That's just crazy. Well, anyway, I, you know, I know down, you know, Chicago is known for a lot of things, and I know their pizza. Like last night in the store, I saw Chicago style pizza, uh-huh. and it looks exactly like a regular. I mean, it didn't look any different, but I'm sure in an actual live Chicago is is far better. You know. If you want to try a good representation of uh, frozen pizza from Chicago, get you got to go to Harris Teeter to get it, and it's home run in pizza. Well, well yeah, that's the one I'm. Yeah, was oh about man, get, last yeah, night. get one Publix. of those. Oh yeah, get one of those. Trust me, you'll like that. Home run, home run, home in. run. But if you ever go to Chicago and go to the restaurant, oh my goodness, unfriggin' believable. Two, so you know, so they have a home run pizza there. Home run in, yeah, it's called home run in. Home yeah. run in. They right. have about now it may be about four locations in Chicago, but it's really really good pizza. Right, and Gino's. I know it's probably all Wrigley themed. No, or, no, it's not even by. It's more. It's closer to White Sox Park, actually. Okay. Well, yeah. well. well, anyway, guys, that's all the time we've got. DJ Johnny D from Hump Day Radio. It's always a pleasure having you up in the house. And uh, guys, next time you uh, want something for your lady, take her to go get some hog jog, some chitlins, some ear f- toes, and of course. Or, Cooter stew. Cooter stew, baby. All right, you're listening to the drive home, Matt Burton. Take care. Well, that's all, folks. That's my line. Simplified, babe. Let a star do this. That's all. That's all, folks. Can I go home now? <laughs>